You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You can do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about is a little nugget that I uh, found in the Master Key system. And what I'm going to be doing from here on out is basically uh, pulling things out of the seven to eight books that I continually go back to uh, in my study of mindset and in my study of mental performance. And, you know, from year to year, these books may change, but, uh, you know, there's seven to eight books that I keep coming back to. So I'm going to pull from those books from here on out. Uh, today's nugget is the world without reflects the circumstances and the conditions of the consciousness within. So in other words, what you see happening around you in your life can be directly correlated to what's going on in your mind, right? And so a lot of people don't make that connection all the time. They think that these set of circumstances, these things that are happening to them is happening to them without their control. And I'm not saying that you control every single thing that happens to you, but what is happening can be correlated with great reliance. You know, you can reliably correlate what is happening around you and in your life, your life circumstances to the mental activity, your current and dominant mental activity. So what that means is that if I think in a way that is not conducive to me having what it is that I say that I want, right? If I say I want to have more money or have a job or have a successful business, or if I want to have uh, better health, if I want to have better mental health, if I want to have, you know, life-giving relationships, whatever the case may be, right? There are things that I want, but my mental activity doesn't support that. Then my circumstances or the results, whatever you want to call it, aren't going to reflect what it is that I say that I want because my mental activity says that I don't have any of those things, right? Um, If I say things like, I never make good decisions, I make bad decisions, right? If that's my mental activity, then my circumstances are going to be bad decisions. It's really not that difficult to understand. But I think what happens a lot of times is that people think, well, you know, I'm here because I have bad luck or I'm just, I'm I'm just struggling. I'm having a rough time right now. It's easy to fall into that. But the way that we can control what happens to us, and again, can we control every single thing? No, but we control our response. And my response to something that I don't want to happen or something that I'd rather not have have happen is to think about what I do want, right? Because when you continually think about what you do want and the type of relationship you want, the type of money you want, the type of job you want, the type of business you want, when you continually think about that, not just every now and again, not just every now and again, excuse me, But when you continually think about that over and over again, it has to happen. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It has to happen. It has to come to fruition because your outer circumstances will reflect your inner mental activity and the conditions of the consciousness within. So work on thinking in line with what you want to see happen in your life. If you want to be out of debt, stop thinking about how I'm going to get out of debt. If you want to get a new job, 
start thinking about the job that you, you do want, right? And stop complaining about the job that you have or stop complaining about being unemployed, but start thinking in line with what you truly want. And over time, what will happen is that your mind will start working to create the reality that you think about over and over again. Just like it was doing in a negative way, it will start doing it in a way that is constructive and conducive to your overall goal. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying mental recoding by Playbook Strategies. These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind. 